Shalom. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. You are warmly welcome to the altar of Gigal, where every reproach will be rolled away. You are warmly welcome. As you join the broadcast, share. As soon as you join, share. All those that are in to fight, you are welcome. All those that are in to present your comment, you are welcome. All those that are in to learn, you are welcome. All those that are in to seek salvation, you are welcome. All those that are in to fight the message, you are welcome. Whatever that you join to do, it is welcome on this platform. Hallelujah, we are praying, Spirit of the living God, once again we have met. Speak through me, use me as a vessel, as you have as you have promised me, that whatever I stay, you will speak through me. Use me once again to speak to your people. Bring them out of them. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. This is another day. This is the day the Lord has made. The question that many people are asking, as we are fighting for women all over the world, the one question, one major question that everybody is asking about, about the demise of our, our dear sister, our dear sister, Prophetess PJ, Prophet, Prophetess Jeremiah, Precious Jeremiah, Precious Jeremiah. That is the question many people are asking. So I just came to ask a question. I didn't come to expose anybody. Me, I'm not in to expose. But I am asking, is it true that the death of this lady was caused by Prophetess Bushili? That is what people are asking. The father people are asking, I will also ask. The father people are asking, I will also ask. That is the question many people are asking. And I came across a post on one of the biggest, one of the big one, one of them, because that platform is a very big platform. Yes, I saw a post and I have been receiving many, 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 many comments in the comment section. So I found it so interested to speak about it again. And I am reading the comment to you. You judge yourself. If you have any question, go and attack them. If you have any question, I took this post from uh, J. Israel's platform, his, his timeline. That is where I got this post. This is the, the picture of our dear sister, Prophetess DJ, uh, PJ. If you don't know her, this is she. That is the, the, the spiritual daughter of Prophet Afaluka. This is she. Yes. This is she. Very, very beautiful lady. Very, very, very beautiful lady. This is she. Yes. You see her? Yes. Yes. And I watched her last video. The last video. Why she decided to leave. To stop being the spiritual daughter of Prophet Bushili. I listened to this lady. I am not much interested in the uh, uh, only two things that I am interested. And that is the two things I want to bring many ladies' attention on it. I am not here to judge Prophet, Prophet Bushili. I am not here to judge Prophetess PJ. I am not here to judge. But there is two things that I am a woman standing and fighting for women. I have to speak of it with confidence and boldness. Yes. If the apostles stood and died for Jesus, we are not better than them. We have to snatch people. We have to snatch the sheep from the mouth of many wolves that are with sheep clothing. Wolves in sheep clothing. We have to snatch many of the sheep with boldness and confidence. We have to speak to them to bring them to the knowledge of truth. I read as it was typed by J. Israel. 
He said, R.I.P., rest in peace, precious. Death not be proud. There is too much hidden truth behind your death. And I will not keep quiet, knowing very well that this is the time that Alpha will be going after everyone to kill them as vengeance and sacrifice to his God. I had a lengthy conversation with you before I started exposing Afaluka. I remember how you told me in details of how Alpha read you into sleeping with him, giving you money, praying for you every service to make you famous, and promising you heaven and earth. I remember the day you came to my penthouse in Stanton, crying because Alpha had told you to come see him, but you found him with another woman. So she gave he gave you money and told you to leave. You were full of love for God and was willing to serve God, but Afaluka corrupted you. I remember at some point you told me that Afaluka asked you to leave your husband because he was stumbling broke to your ministry, but you refused and you got very furious and angry. My dear sister, I warned you after I started exposing Afa that he now knows that you have been sharing with me and others who were close to you about all your sex carpet and secrets. He will keep you very, very close, not because he loves you, but because he has plans to kill or sacrifice you so that you can die with all the secrets you have. You could have been a tool that God would have used to expose the dark world operating in church in details. But it's a pity the devil kept you too close to take your life. He taught you how to fake miracles, manipulate people and initiate you into his court. And your husband up to date is not aware of all this. The same thing he did with you was exactly what he wanted to do with me. This is what J. Israel Sr., he just posted on his timeline after the death of this our sister. I listened to a video. That was her last message. Her last message. Why, when she was explaining why she left uh, ECG, why she left Prophet Bushili's church, why she decided to go and serve God. She said anytime she lifts her hands up to pray, she feels guilty within her. That she know the truth. Yes, so she's compromising. She knows, she said, all the miracles, many of the miracles that was happening in that place is being faked. It is public. I am not the one that is saying, you know, you can go to YouTube everywhere it is there. It is there, her last video. If she is lying, Bushili should go to the grave and deal with that lady. And now, people are saying it is Bushili, that, that is there, that lady. Others are saying it is Afaluka, who it is. Who killed that lady is not, is not the problem. Who have hands in her death is not the problem. But the problem here is many women are still in the churches, in places called church, which are being governed by charlatans, which are being ruled by charlatans, which are being ruled by Satan himself. Places. You go to a church to seek the face of God, but you go for all these things. And the most painful thing is that many of these people, many of these pastors or prophetess, prophets in those places, they don't even have connection with God. This is what is happening you now in the body of Christ. This is the filthiness and the dirtiness we have stand to approve from the body of Christ. As Muslims are fighting for their religion, Christians, we need to uproot so many things, so many errors, so many errors are going on in the church. We are just eyeing our pastor to do because they are our purpose. We can rebuild them. We can speak of it. Many of you, many women, this, this thing, this thing that our sister talked about it, many of you are going through. Many of you know surely the child in your home belongs to your papa. 
Many women know the baby, that son in your home, your papa impregnated you and you took it to your husband. You know, judgment awaits you. Judgment is waiting for many people. Many people. Jesus Christ said, beware. Fake prophets will come. Many fake pastors will come. Many will come and deceive people at the end. At the end. At the end. Many have come. And they are deceiving people. They are deceiving people. Seek salvation, oh. Seek God, oh. Look, 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 look. You know, you have to seek God yourself. Go to church to find God. Go to church to have a relationship with God. Don't go to church. It is, it is so pity. Many women go to church with barrels on their head. Going for miracle water for their son in law going for miracle water for their daughter going for miracle water for 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 to sprinkle to even sprinkle on their cocoa farm to sprinkle on their land instead of them to go and look for the message of the cross instead of them to go to look for salvation we go to look for miracles we will get it the devil is giving the miracle the devil has started distributing the miracles through the fake pastors, fake prophets, greedy dogs, greedy dogs. And many of you that will not allow us to approve these things, to preach to people, to bring them to the knowledge of Christ. And you start fighting us. You know, you do know the reason I don't reply comment. The time that I will use to reply you, for you to come and write again, I will use that thing to search a scripture, to say the truth, to preach to somebody, to bring somebody to Christ. Many are in captivity, bondage, bondages under this man of God, under this woman of God. When they decide to leave the church, they begin to threaten their life. When they begin to leave that church, they try to threaten them and even go after them everywhere they are to kill them. To kill them. Going after people. Is that how the shepherds were, were, were asked to do? Is that the calling? Is that what God chose us to do? Hallelujah. And many of you, that there is one question Let me, I don't want to forget. There is one question, many of you that doesn't read your Bible, many of you that have gone to six months or one year or one and a half year Bible school with clericals and you come under my post to display your ignorance without reading your Bible, any comment that you write, I will prove to you with a Bible scripture. Any comment you write, read your Bible before you come and write whatever comment is on your heart. Read your Bible. The last video, let me just answer that few questions. Few questions I, I saw people fighting on that, that comment. There was a comment people were fighting. People don't believe even rapture. But you go to church. People are not preparing for rapture. Rapture will take place. Rapture is in the Bible. People are not prepared for rapture. So when you say anything because of ignorance, they will never research and they will attack you. Open your Bible to the book of Thessalonians. Let me prove to you rapture is in the Bible. And those that are dead will rise up. If you don't understand the reason why, I told you God will sit on the seat of judgment. And all those that are dead in rivers will rise up. Those that are dead in the sea will rise up. Those in the grave, they will rise up. They will get a form again. It is a breaker. It is not delusional. I will never speak anything I don't know. No, I didn't call myself. First Thessalonians 4. First Thessalonians 4. Those of you that have been writing the scriptures, please write it. Let them go and read it themselves. First Thessalonians chapter 4. First Thessalonians chapter 4. The apostle was speaking about rapture. He was speaking about rapture. So when we, we say something and you don't understand, don't just say it is delusional. Don't say it is a myth. Don't say it is not biblical. Go and research. You are a man of God. I pity who, what, what message you have been preaching. I pity the message you have been delivering. If you don't even know that rapture is in the Bible. First Thessalonians chapter 4. 
verse number 13 to 17 please quickly i don't want to waste much of our time i have a lot of message to deliver first thessalonians chapter 4 13 to 17 13 to 17 13 to 17 13 to 17 say but i would not have you to be ignorant Brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus Christ died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will bring him, will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the, of the, of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. That means all those that are dead in the second coming, when Jesus Christ appear again the second time, all those in the, in the, in the cemetery, they will get a form. And we that will be alive, the generation that will be alive on that time, they will meet him in the sky. That is what we talk about, the rapture. And another question, another thing that I said in the last video that people did not understand. I saw that comment also. Many were scrapping themselves on that comment. Yes, we will all appear. We will get a form. We will get a form. I was talking about we have angels. That is the second question. We have angels that belongs to the devil. And we have angels that belongs to God. It is the breaker. Angels that belongs to God and angels that belongs to the devil. So if you are a child of God now, when you die, the angels of God will come for you. When you are a child of the devil, when you die today, the angels of the devil will come for you. Let me prove that, that the angel that belongs to the devil in the Bible for you. Write that Bible quotation. When you go study it yourself, when you go just, just read it and understand it in your, in your local language. Read it and understand it in your local language. I don't have time. I have to answer just five questions and I move on. I move on to the message I brought today. I move on to the message I brought today. Revelation. The book of Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 to 8. Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 to 9 or 7 to 8. Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12 verses number 7 to 9. I read. I read quickly. You can write it, please. You can paste the Bible verses for me. When they come, they should go and, go and study it. I know they will come and fight. I know they, they, they are at work now. When they finish, they will come. And let me come back to the message I came today. It said, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was there praise found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. The old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels was, were cast out with him. He was cast out into the earth with his, sword, his angels. So when you work for the devil and you die today, whether you believe or you don't believe, the angels will come for you. That is the angels of the devil. This is what I said that many of you didn't understand. You did not understand. You did not understand. And I didn't prove to anybody that angel, the devil have come for angel TV. Joshua, you people, you have been, you know, your mind. I am just explaining to people that when you die today, when your father die, when your sister die, when your brother die, and you see angel with your brother, do not guess that my brother is going to heaven or my brother is going to paradise. Because I saw angel. Because we have angels that belong to the devil. We have angels that belong to God. That is what is bringing confusion in the body of Christ. I saw angel and the angel took me and revealed this to me. You see, when you see angel, ask yourself, which angel is this? Is it the angel of God? Because when we talk about the angels that belong to the devil, it was the messenger of God. God created them. He just, he was able to, to deceive one third of them and just take them around. The same thing, the same angels that is with the devil, not that one is black, one is yellow. Don't, don't deviate. Don't be deceived. They are the same angel. The book of Hebrews describes how God created angel. Anybody that have seen, that have met a witchcraft, witch, witch sport, physically, you know they are fire. Anybody that have seen witch, those days when we were in the village, you used to see them. 
at midnight we don't sleep. Sometimes we pray and that and when the moon is bright. Many of you that have lived in uh, rural areas before, you know. When the moon, when the moon is bright, we don't sleep. We will be praying, we will be praying. So when the, we, we saw a fire at the edge, at the edge of the school park, we thought it was an ordinary fire. We didn't know it was witchcraft. We didn't know it was time for the witches in that city to go, to go for meeting. So they were going, we saw fire. And somebody was, uh, one of the boys was bold to throw a stone on that fire. He hit the fire with the stone and we all started running. We all started running. In the morning we saw a woman walking like this. Yes, a woman was walking and they asked, what have happened to her? Oh, I just fell from my bed. Which bed? She went to, she went for meeting and somebody just hit her with a stone. They are fire. And the book of Hebrews spoke about it. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 7. Go there for me. Go there. Hebrews 1 7. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 7. Hebrews chapter 1 verse number 7. Read your Bible. Get closer to your Bible. Stop carrying bottles to church. Stop carrying bundles to church. Stop carrying stickers and carry your scripture. Carry your word. Carry the message of the cross. Carry the message of your father. Yes, Hebrews chapter 1, verse number 7. See how God created the angels. Hebrews 1, verse 7. Hebrews 1, verse 7. Hebrews chapter 1, verse number 7. Share the broadcast. Let it reach somebody. You win a soul. You win a soul. Anybody that will share this broadcast, you win a soul. Among your friends on Facebook, you win somebody. Trust me. It said, and the end of the angels, he said, who maketh his angels poet? And his ministers frame of fire. The reason why witches can dwell in human beings is that they are spoiled. They are spoiled. They are spoiled. So in the absence of the holy spirit, the evil spirit will come through you. And all these witches are fallen angels. They are angels with they are fire, they are spoiled. The ministers, when you talk about angels that are ministers. They are those that are messengers of God. Angel Gabriel, he delivered a message to the Virgin Mary. He was a minister. He was a messenger of God. He was sent with a message. We have angels that are spirit. And we have angels that are messengers. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Yes, let's move forward to another question. Let's move forward to another question. Any question that you write, that you write out of ignorance, I will come and explain to you. If you write a question out of ignorance, if you are a man of God, and I, I, I want to repeat it again. If you are a man of God, that you don't read your Bible, don't come and display your ignorance in the comment section. Go and study your Bible. Go and study your Bible. If you are ready to fight for your papa, fight for your mother, that strength, reserve it and use to win souls for your father. If you claim you are a man of God, the strength you use to fight people because they are trying to bring people to the knowledge of truth. Use that strength to win souls. People are perishing. Our youth are into Yahoo business. Buffing in cemeteries. See where our youth are heading towards to. See her, where our teenagers. Our teenagers. All of them are being influenced by these charlatans. Charlatans that we want to approve from the body of Christ. Charlatan. Greedy, selfish dogs. They will sacrifice their members for money rituals and they'll be displaying money. So when the youth and the, and the teenagers, when they see, they think it is easy to get that money. They think it is so cheap to get that money. That is why our youth, our teenagers are into Yahoo. Mothers are crying. Mothers are shedding tears because their children are going wayward. And you don't want us to preach the truth. You don't want us to speak the truth. You don't want us to rebuild them. You don't want us to direct them. Money is the root of all evil. Money is the root of all evil. Yes, it is the root of all evil. Another question, another question that I want to answer, then I go straight to the message that I, I brought today. Another question, another, another question. I saw people saying, oh, when, uh, God doesn't care. 
about God does go look through the heart. That is the right word they use. Go see it through the heart. Go see it through the heart. God doesn't care about what you wear. God doesn't care about somebody wearing trousers. Somebody wearing trousers in front of a congregation as a woman of God is not evil. Did you even even listen to the, the, the comments you yourself you wrote? Did you listen to the comment? Many of us do know how many ladies have been looking up to us. Do you know how many young people have been learning from what we do? Do you know? Mothers, because many of you don't have heart. You don't have heart. Go to many homes and see how teenagers, 13, 14, 15, they are going wayward. Their mothers cannot even control them because of what they have been watching on television, because of what you people are displaying on the media, because of how you people are diverting and backsliding and deceiving them with your fake lifestyle. You don't want us to speak about it. Not even talking of these celebrities. I will come to you people. I will come to you people. Let me finish inside the tabernacle. Let me finish with the pastors. Let me finish with the fake pastors. And I will come to the pastors that are also dumb dogs. That they come back. They will never preach. They are interested in tithe. They are interested in offerings. Souls are perishing. Preach to them. Tell them we are in the end time. People no longer grow old. People are dying on daily basis. People are dying. People are dying without knowing God. People are dying in their sins. People are dying because they are chasing materialism. Material things. They are chasing worldly things. They are chasing this world and everything within it. Why the Bible says we shouldn't love this world and everything within it. And many of you said, oh, when a woman breach, it is, there is no problem. When the woman breach, there is no problem. No wonder your pastors, they have Coca-Cola face and Fanta body. Tell me. No wonder your pastors and your papers, they are having Fanta face, Coca-Cola body. Fanta face, Coca-Cola body. They have all breathed. So you people don't see even the, the reasons of even adoring or honoring or even practicing or self-esteem. You don't, you don't, you don't even, you don't even know the value of it. The value of being an African woman. The value of being a black woman. The value of being a, a, a chocolate, a chocolate woman. A lady, see the men, men, you are the cause of all this expensive cream that women cannot even buy. Not even talking of the women that are breaching. Pastors, any pastor that are breached is a demonic pastor, it's a charlatan. Any pastor that are breached is not a man of God. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Don't even count, don't even bring that in. Don't count them, they are not there. They are sowing for the fresh. They are sowing for the fresh. They are not sowing for spoiled. They are not sowing. See how your pastors are breathed. And many of them, they are having, I don't know, their hair. If they place their hair in a machine to make their hair as if the hair of, 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 of a mouse or the hair of a, of a cat. A black man. A black man. What is it? What are you teaching the members? Is that what God calls you to do? Is that what God calls you to do? Which of the apostles preached? Which of them had Fanta face, Coca-Cola body? Fanta face, Coca-Cola body. You can't remove your, 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 your socks. You can't wear slippers because your members will see that edge. You know, God is a God. He's a wise God. You can breach everywhere. This place you can't escape. You can breach everywhere. This area, this area, you can't escape. You cannot escape. You can't clean it. The black dead. Hmm? Go and read the book of Lamentation, chapter 5. Lamentation, chapter 4. Go, go there. Go there. Go and read. Go and read. They are demonic pastors leading you people to destruction. They are satanic pastors deceiving you. They will never preach for you to get salvation. Oh, they are not interested in your salvation. Please give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Give your life to Him. Seek Him where you find Him. 
Seek him when you find him. Throw all the bundles in your home. If you are listening to me today and you have miracle water from your papa, go and throw it away and go on and back on a three days or a seven days fasting. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to forgive you. Because you are an abomination in the sight of God. If you don't know, you are an abomination in the sight of God. You are an abomination in the sight of God. Let us go and read what God told Moses. What God speak to Moses about to warn the Israels of. What God spoke to Moses to warn the children of Israel to stay away. Not to even get closer. Not to even go closer to those things. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy 18, sorry. Deuteronomy chapter 18. Deuteronomy 18, verse 10 to 12. Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 12. Read with me, or you can pass it. Please, those that are children of God, <laughs> that are not here to fight, but here to learn, you can write the Bible verse for those that will come. Let them go and study. Let them go and study. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses number 10 to 12. It said, There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or or a chairman or a consultant with familiar spirit or a wizard or a necromancer all these things let me let me continue it said verse 12 said for all that all that do these things are an abomination unto god when you go for miracle water from these people that have a source to a diviner, let me explain to you. When you go for sticker from a papa that the source of that sticker is linking to a diviner, you are serving a diviner. It is like you have visited that diviner yourself. If you go to the church that the pastor or the prophetess is using the spirit of divination, you yourself, you are an abominable in the sight of God. Yes, that is what we preach to you about miracle water. I keep telling you, I have followed many, many fake pastors. Let me tell you, in Ghana, there is a place where all that, all the, all the, all the fake pastors, they go there to buy. Even human parts, you can get to buy there. Human parts, you can get to buy. You can get the nails to buy human nails. You can get to buy them. That is where they go and buy all these items. There is an oil, a very small oil in a small bottle. I will not mention the name of that oil, but I want to speak to many of you because you are using it unknowingly. You are, you are using that oil unknowingly. It is small oil, but it is very powerful. This is the oil they go and buy and come and use to mix with olive oil to prepare and mix with color. Color to prepare the oil that you people have been buying. The oil you people have been buying. That oil is from the demonic camp. It is from the satanic camp. It is so powerful. And many of you that go for spiritual bath. Let me tell you, spiritual bath, that you have been adding different kinds of oil. You are in connected to you are you are connected to the spirit of divination. Yes. Yes, because all these oils, you don't know where they have been produced, you know. You don't know where it comes from. It comes from the camp, their headquarters. Their headquarters. That is where it came from. So you go and buy it. You come and drink it. And the next three years, because when you drink it, not the same day that you get that chronic disease. After two years, after one year, you start experiencing a sensation in your stomach. You go, the doctor will tell you, you are having a chronic stomach. A chronic disease, chronic this, chronic that. Praise. There is no salvation in any of it, these things. Salvation is only in Christ. Salvation is in Christ Jesus. Stop visiting so many places. I keep telling you all, it is better you be inside your room, read your Bible and pray, rather than going to church to have a connection with Satan himself. Yes. We are speaking to many women, many ladies that are interested in chopping the banana of pastors. Many of you know the man is even married. You are the one doing that self-arrangement. 
Self arrangement, getting closer to the man. You want to just eliminate the wife from there. You want to snatch the man from the wife. That is the reason why you go to church. Many of you, you are in that church because the papa have been distributing money. Mm. The papa have been giving money. Money. And you see human beings bowing down to their fellow human beings. You see human beings bowing to their fellow human beings. The book of Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs 3. Proverbs chapter 3. Mm. Mm. Oh God, have mercy. Have mercy. It is better you dwell in your poverty and serve God well rather than going for something that will make you perish at the end. Going for something that will make you perish at the end. Serve God well, oh. Serve God well. Never put your trust in any man. Put your trust in God. Put your trust in God. Don't put your trust in any man. There is no salvation in any man. When it is time for that man to go, ah, he will go without even giving you a notification. Many of you that has been visiting uh, native doctors, Many of you that has been visiting native doctors, putting your trust in these people. Many of you that has been putting your trust in native doctors, magicians, sorcerers, sorcerers that has been receiving support and help from sorcerers. The day you go and your sorcerer is no more, that day you regret for not seeking God. The day rapture will happen and you'll be left behind. That day you regret for putting your trust on a man. Put not your confidence in a God. Put not your trust in any man. Put your trust in God. The reason why that sickness is not going is because you have not come to the knowledge of truth. You have not seeked God from your innermost part of you. You have not regretted from the past days that, that brought that problem. The reason why you're finding it difficult to get the fruit of the womb, it is because you've caused numerous abortions and you need to ask God for forgiveness to restore you back. It is big breaker. Isaiah 66. God said anybody that would do that. I will close the womb. I will never let you have baby. So maybe you've caused many series of abortions. You've done abominable things in the sight of God. That is how God is punishing you. And you are struggling. You are struggling. You are finding it difficult to get the fruit of the womb. Go down your knee. Cry to God. Wait upon the Lord. When he forgives you, he will restore you. When God forgives you, God will restore you. When you, you mistake me, when by mistake, maybe you disobeyed your husband, or you, you sleep around, you cheat, and your husband divorce you at a very young age, at a very tender age, God will punish you. He is going to, he is going to, he is going to, you know, like he's going to chastise you. He will bring you to the knowledge of truth. When he sees that you have repented, he's going to restore you back. He is going to restore you back. He is going to restore you back. Let me use this opportunity to speak to many women, many married women, that you respect your pastors more than your husbands. Many married women, that when your pastor said, Lie down, sleep here, sleep, you sleep. When your husband said, oh, it's my food ready, oh, oh, can't you cook? Can't you cook? Can't you cook? Mm -mm. But when that pastor, that has not even buy a syrup of Panadol before, baby, baby, medicine for baby before, when these people speak, how we shiver, how we, sh we, we tremble. But when our husband speak, we disobey them. We disobey them. This is not the will of God. This is not what God wants you to do as a woman. Please give your life to Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't be a kindly minded Christian. Be a spirit filled. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Romans chapter 8 verse 6. Romans chapter 8 verses number 6. Romans chapter 8 verses number 6. It says, for to be carnally minded is death. To be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you get innermost peace. You will get innermost peace. Because the word of God says, the peace of God that passes all understanding. 
Peace is in Christ Jesus. When you are spirit filled, when you allow the Holy Spirit to live in you, rather than allowing the spirit of bitterness, the spirit of unforgiving, the spirit of cruelty and wickedness, when you allow this spirit to lead you, you, you will die. And after your death, you will not get the grace to live again. You will not get the grace to live. We are all strangers, oh, on this out. It is appointed for you to die. After it, that is judgment. I keep telling you when you are going, oh, your money in your account is left. Your money in your account, you, you just leave it. Your pastor will not carry everything. They know many people that, that know they don't have connection with God. They are enjoying heaven on earth. That is how you see them. They are enjoying heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. They want to live on the goal that we are going to live there. They know they are not going there. So the spirit of mammon, the spirit of mammon, the god of wealth, the god of wealth have given them money. That is why they'll be displaying money, sprinkling money, throwing money in the sky. And you people will be picking. Just gathering it. Just picking it. They are enjoying heaven and earth. Because when they die today, that is all. They are going to hedges. When a sinner dies today, no sinner is in hell now. When a sinner dies today, you are going to hedges. You are going to face the first torturment. Hedges. Hedges. When a righteous person dies today, you are going to the bosom of Father Abraham. He will welcome you and add you to the saint. He will welcome you. He will welcome you and add you to the saint. When you die today in a sin, when you die in the sins that we have been rebuking you, when you die as a sinner, you go to hedges. Be a righteous person. Seek the kingdom of righteousness. Somebody once asked that question. That question I remember. That how can how are you going to seek the kingdom of righteousness? How will you seek if I want to give my life to Jesus? If I want to surrender, how am I going to seek that kingdom? How can I seek it? As you preach to us, mommy, we should seek the kingdom of righteousness. How am I going to seek? It is this. When we talk about righteousness, righteousness, the book of 1 Corinthians, write it for me. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse number 9 going. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 9 going. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse number 9 going. Say, Know ye not, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not do, he said, be not deceived, neither fornicators. So anybody that fornicates, who is a fornicator? A lady that, have, that a man have not paid your bride pride, that you remove your pants for that man to sleep with you. You are fornication. You are fornicating. A man that have not paid the bride pride or the dowry or done the ne necessity on a woman that is having sexual intercourse with her. You are fornicating. And anybody that is fornicating, forget the tongues you grow. Forget, forget the tongues you've been speaking. Forget the unnecessary noise you people have been making in, 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 on, on the parks. Forget it. Because the Holy Spirit doesn't dwell in a fornicate. Anybody that fornicate. Let me tell you the truth. The Holy Spirit will never live in you. Mm -mm. So if you are still in fornication and you are praying tongues, I want to entreat you, stop speaking that tongues and ask for forgiveness. Because that tongues is not of God. It is the tongues of the devil. That tongues doesn't contain any power. No power, no fornicator. A queer master. Queer master. You slap around with all the ladies in the church because they are vulnerable. A queer master, Church of Pres Presbyterian Church, Roman Catholic Church, Methodist, you have slept around with all the women in the church because they lack money to eat. Many of them even come to you, give me money to start a business. I don't want to go around fornicating. I don't want to be sleeping around. Daddy, please, can you help me? Give me money to start something so that I can, I can. I can meet all my needs without sleeping around with men. And he said, oh, the money is there on one condition. This is my card. Meet me in so-so-and-so hotel. 
Meet me so 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 hotel. You go and display your acting skills before you give money to that that girl. Repent, all. Oh. Repent. I am sounding a trumpet and also a warning to you. You think I'm joking? You may take it. Just laugh. Don't laugh, oh. This is what people are doing. This is what people are doing. Give your life to Jesus, oh. As I'm speaking to you, somebody will cross the road. That person will die. That person will be knocked down by a tricycle, by a train, by a bus. You will die after death. There is judgment. Your days will go before you. Please give your life to Jesus. Fornicator. If you fornicate, you are not a righteous person. You have not seeked the kingdom. Not even talking of many of you that go to church to fornicate with your pastors. Because your pastors are womanizers. Because your pastors are womanizers. Every woman in the church, a fear woman, any, any fear woman that comes to their church because their God is, 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 is a God of fear. That love fear, fear, fear. Any fear woman that comes to that church, ah, you get closer. You get closer to that fear woman. Ah, give uh, address, give contact. Oh, I will take you to Ireland. Mm -hmm. That is what they used to deceive many of Many of the women, oh, I will let you and your family go on a vacation. You go to United States of America. I will sponsor everything. Just come. A married woman, a married woman, and another man is deceiving you with these lies. These lies that I will, oh, you go, you go, just, 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 just once, just once. And you are not the only woman that she's having, he's sleeping around with. You are not the only lady. Many, many different kinds of ladies. Many different kinds of ladies. All the ladies that are beautiful as you are. Count them. You count them. And the most painful thing is this. These men of God, they don't use condom. They don't even protect themselves. They pour it as it is. They release it as it is. Because they need the free will for their connections. They need the semen. The semen that will come. They will release it on their bed sheet. They will put it in a handkerchief. And go and put it. Oh. Come for direction. Direction that a man. A man. And a great man of God have to put the banana inside you. What is in you? So the demon is inside you right? The demon is inside you, so you have to open for the man of God to approve that demon there. Hey, man of God, and many of you out of ignorance and fear, you open up. <laughs> when they finish, when they finish, you come and cry on the on, on, on radios. You come and cry, and they pursue you to kill you because they don't want you to expose them. They don't want you to expose them. No fornicator can inherit the kingdom of God. No. No fornicator. Do not be deceived. Neither fornicator. Nor adulterers. Nor adulterers. Nor adulteress. Sleeping around behind your husband. When your husband goes to work. As a, a, a child of God. As a daughter of Zion. You go. You, you, you know. Many of you. How you worship. It's like angels are falling. When you stand in front of the microphone. To sing. To sing, you know the devil. He was, he was, he was a singer. That is why many of you that are into that sing for Christ. The devil have used worldliness to deceive you. Now you see a gospel artist that have gone for a live possession, increase her breast, increase her booty, and she's shaking. They don't even want to wear straight dress. They want to wear skimpy, tight trousers because their shape is as the dragon. Yes, because they have a very nice shape. They will start wearing the gun. Hmm? What are they doing for? Gospel artist, somebody that, that minister, an oracle that delivers the message through truth, truth, truth songs. See how you dress. Are you and a prostitute? What is the difference? You and a prostitute. That is why when Jesus Christ came. He just went, went straight to, to save the prostitute because they, they, are, they are much, much, much more, much relevant than many of us with the Bible in hands. See how you dress as a gospel musician, a representative of Christ on earth, somebody that ministers to people through songs. See how you dress. See your dressing.
You and the prostitute, no difference. All our gospel singers, they have backslided. Many of them have backslided. This world have deceived them. Fame have deceived them. Fame have deceived them. When they start getting the fame, when they release one upon and it goes viral, that is all. Many of them even decide to, to divorce their husbands because their husbands are not their type. They get connections. They get bigger platforms. They leave their husbands. You can never inherit the kingdom of God. No, step outside. Count yourself out. Sleeping beside, sleeping around as a married woman, as a married man. Repent, oh. Repent. Repent. There is no more time. No more time. No more time. Repent. 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 Drunkards. No drunkard will enter into the kingdom of God. Covetousness. Everything. Anything you see on somebody, you, you want it. You want, to, you want to date five men. Five different kinds of men. Because you see somebody is riding a, using a Range Rover. What is Range Rover? If somebody is in Range Rover and I take my, my, my Pragya, or I take my Uber, won't, are we not going to land in the same destination? If somebody rides BMW and you take your trotter, you take your taxi, are you not going, you go with your tricycle, when, the same place that you are going, are you not going to, are you, will, will you not even land in the same destination? Why are you killing yourself? Sleeping around with many, many men because you need money to buy Gucci clothing. Because your fellow sisters are wearing Gucci. Because they are, they, they are using Gucci bags, Gucci shoes. What is it? What is deceiving many women? What is causing many women lose their salvation? Women that prophesize godliness. 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 What is it? What is deceiving you? Come back to Christ. Come back to Christ. Come back to Christ. If you are watching me and you have missed all kinds of creams just to preach, please from here go and throw it away. That is all. when we talk about repentance. When we talk about repentance, changing your mind on every bad thing you are doing, changing your mind, that is repentance. Stop preaching. Many of you are using, going for all kinds of injection. Injection to turn, to, to just, I don't know how they even manage to turn your skin from chocolate or dark to white. How? A dark skin lady. What is it? What is it? What is deceiving many women? What is it? Please, the kingdom of God, we don't just enter anyhow. We enter with this. We enter with this. Yes, we enter with this. Oh, we do not just enter anyhow. We do not enter anyhow. Go to churches that they will preach salvation messages to you. Go to churches that they will teach you the word of God. Go to churches that they are going to teach you the word of God. Don't be carnally minded. Don't just be an ordinary church goer. As we used to do those days, we go to church on Sunday sometime. If you know Sunday, we go with our fiancé. When we cross, we don't come home. We go straight to our fiancé's house. When we cross, we don't come home. Oh, we go with them. They, do you know the devil? The devil is a deceiver. He will just let the man go with you. And when the man go, the, the pastor think, oh, we've got a new person. This lady has won a soul. No, no, no. That man is in to win the soul of that lady out to the world. That demonic man, that feels comfortable to use you, impregnate you, force you to abort the babies, or assist you to do many, many kinds of abortion. You do, you cause six different kinds of abortion with a man. That have not paid your bride price. Is your mind working? Is your brain working? Or do you think that is the only lovely man on earth? This is the ignorant. I wish I can dissect the head of many people to uproot it from them. When a man says, I don't love you, the woman wants to commit suicide. Thinking that is the only good man on earth. Go and see out there. Hey! 
men are there. Handsome men, caring men, God fearing men, don't die for a beast. Don't die for a beast. Serve God. If that man will not allow you to serve God, let him go. Let that man go. Let him go. Stop causing abortion. Stop shedding innocent, innocent blood. Stop killing babies. Stop it. Stop it. A lady that is not married, you are on, you are using contraceptive. Somebody, you are not married or you are giving the man the visa to use you and destroy your future. Do you have brain? Do you have brain? Contraceptive. Do you not have the brain? The, the, oh no. Birth control. People, oh, people that don't, that don't need babies again. That have been using it. You don't have any child. And you are risking your life to do this. You are doing it out of ignorant. You are risking your life. Many of you, you th that are using this contraceptive. You have your menstruation two times in demand. You don't care, right? You will not care now. But you care in your 30s. You will care in your 30s. You will care when you are heading towards your 40s. And the fruit of the womb is not coming. You will remember me. You will remember me. She will remember me. Every 20s, you are using IUDs. Every 20s, you've placed injection on you. You've placed a, a, a device on you. That is preventing you from getting pregnant. And you are sleeping around like a dog that is on heat. Sleeping around. I say, you know, you know, when you understand God, you know God really punish people. God, he really punish people. This is the real truth many pastors will not tell you. When you bring your problem, instead of them telling you, ask God for forgiveness. Ask God to forgive you. Because this punishment is from God. This is from God. You do all kinds of direction, that punishment will not go. Until God, the, as the date, the time God prays for you to, to punish you. Until that time is over. That sickness will never go. Until you start crying for forgiveness. Until you start praying to God to forgive you. That punishment will never be lifted. And when God prays a punishment on you, no human being who can lift that punishment from you. We can only pray to God, cry to God. For we, we can, you know, we can cry to God on your behalf, but it depends on you. It depends on you. It depends when God sees that really you have repented. Really, you have repented. He will just take that disease from you. And that is how people have been telling, oh, God did it. Oh, this man of God is powerful. Mm -mm. It was you. You. Psalm 8 verse 2. The word of God says, out of the, the mouth of babies and sacraments, I, the Lord, I have ordained power. Power is in your mouth. Power is in your mouth. Many of you, your pastors, they don't even have power. Oh? Nothing. Nothing. They don't have any power. Power is in your own mouth. It is you. It depends on you. It depends on you. Have a personal relationship with God. Have a personal and intimacy. See God yourself. Get closer to God. Read your Bible. Study the word of God. Pray and meditate on the word of God. Meditate. Meditate. And that is your power. Power is in the word of God. Power is not in anything. Power is not in sticker. Power is in the, in, the, in the word of God. When you read the word of God, you are powerful. When you study the word of God, when the word of God is in you, who is demon? Who is sorcerer? Who is magician to overcome you? Who? Who? When you have power, when you are closer to God, who is, who is that witchcraft in your father's house to fight you? Who? They can't. They can't even come closer to you. When they see you, they will salute you and they will pass by. Sometimes in Revelation, we meet snakes, pythons. When they see us, they just pass by. Because we don't have relationship with them. Because he, he, that, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. 
Greater is he that is in you. What is in you is greater than if you what is in your pastors. Let me tell you, many of them are like, are like Charles. Charles. That the wind have been blowing, thick and toe, back and forth. Charles. Seek God yourself. Seek God yourself. You'll find him. Whatever problem, pray to God. Pray to God. It is only saints that has been broken people's prayer. When you live a righteous life, God is closer to you. When you live by the word of God, God is closer to you. Yes. God is closer to you. Read the word of God. Read, meditate. Get closer to God. Don't go to churches. Don't go to church carrying bottle. Don't go to church carrying bottle to carry water home. Go to church with the word of God. With a pen to write the message. To write Bible verses. When you come home, meditate on it. Read the word of God. Pray. Go down your knees at least every night. Pray one hour before you sleep. An hour before you sleep every night. I give you one month. Whatever problem you are going through, it will go. I give you just one month. Just live righteousness. Just do away with anything. Just do away any, any grudges in heart. Let that grudges go. Leave that grudges. Let the person cheat on you. Let the person look down on you. Let the person, if you, whatever they want to do to you, for Christ's sake, say, okay, you do it. You do it. Let God fight for you. The word of God says, vengeance is of our father. Vengeance is of our father. Oh, didn't you read? Did, did, oh, don't you know? The Israels. How these Egyptians afflicted on them. How they looked down upon them. How they misused them. These people cried, 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 cried. But one day God said, you know, I am going to destroy this empire. I am going to destroy this empire that brought down the empire of, of the Egyptians. That was the first empire, the Egyptians' empire. Egypt, they have once ruled the world. Egypt has once ruled the world. When this empire went down and a great beast rose up, King Nebuchadnezzar, a beast that doesn't reverend God, a beast that disrespect and blaspheme God, a beast. He came. And because the children of Israel, all the time they backslide from God. They don't draw closer to God. They are fond of all these items that people are using. Visiting trees, going to sacred rocks, going to rivers for support, going to trees for support. So God left them. God delivered them. God, God, you know, God erected or uh, 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 he chose Jeremiah. To come and speak to these people. Jeremiah was a child. He preached to them. He spoke to them. They took Jeremiah. They put him in a dungeon. You know a dungeon? A well. Because he was speaking the truth to them. So God had to deliver these people. Into the hand of King Nebuchadnezzar. The king of Babylon. He took captive of them. He took all of them into captivity again. He took them into captivity again. God let them. God said, if you people will not reverend me, if you will not serve me, I, I brought you people out with a mighty hand from captivity in Egypt. I destroyed the enemies. I set fire. I scattered them. I caused the sea to swallow them while I delivered you people. But you have backslided. If you have chosen not to reverend me, if you have chosen not to serve me, go. And God released King Nebuchadnezzar. Go. He took captive of them. He destroyed the temple that was built by King Solomon. The son of David. He destroyed all the temple. He took the people to Babylon. That is where Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They said, no. We spoke to these people. But yesterday they didn't hear. But we will never turn our back to our God. We will still even in captivity serve God. King Nebuchadnezzar, because of his arrogant heart, pride, God took the heart of human being from him, replaced it with the heart of a beast, drove him from his kingdom into the bush to go and eat herbs with animals. If you, if you are filled with arrogance, that is what God will do to you. If you think you are mighty, 
If you think you don't reverend God, when you are blaspheming and disobeying God, remember King Nebuchadnezzar. Mm. He was a powerful, powerful man. He was able to reign on his own garden. He told God, forget, take your reign. He made a hanging garden. Read the history, study history. Many people go to Bible school. They don't read anything. They don't know anything. They come home empty-headed. He made a hunking garden. He rain, rain fall. That rain was not from God, though. He is able to rain, set fire, spray that garden in the sky. What a mighty man. But God made him calm down. God humbled him. When, before King Nebuchadnezzar died, he was of God. He reverenced God. He served God. That is the second empire. One day I'll bring teachings about empire. Today our time is gone. I don't want to continue. The third empire. His son came and succeeded him. Bersasa, an arrogant, a fornicator, a drunkard. He came and succeeded his father. He ordered for them to bring the things, the precious things that his father took captive from the Israels, brought it from the, 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 the um. The temple that King Solomon brought, he, he built that for God. He brought all these caps. He set the table. He dined with his concubines and his wives and his, his associative. And they, they drank. They drank in the cup of the Almighty God. You know, oh God. A hand came from heaven and right on the wall. That is how that empire also collapsed. And that empire, it was divided for two people, Medians and Persians. They also took over. They took over. You know, all these things are history. When we talk about one world or other, many people, it is scaring you, it is, uh, it is terrifying you. One world or other has been dead since ages. That is when we talk about one world or other. It started from the Egyptian empire. One nation, one ruling the whole world. That is that one world or other. It was there, ages. It was there. Just give your life to Jesus Christ. Repent. Live righteous life. Let the blood of Jesus Christ register you. Be chosen. Be among the chosen one. Be among the chosen one. Yes. Revelation 16, 15. We'll cross very soon. Share the broadcast for me. Revelation 16, 15. Revelation 16, 15. Revelation 16, verse 15. Revelation 16, verse 15. <coughs> Revelation 16 15. I read. Hmm. It said, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garment. The Lord is speaking. He said, I will come like a thief. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is you listening to me today. Blessed is you on this platform today. Blessed is he that watcheth. Watch. And keep his garment. Lest he walk naked. And they see his shame. Don't walk naked. Many of you are naked in the realms of the spirit. Don't walk naked. When the Holy Spirit depart from you. You are naked. Blessed is he. That keepeth his garment. Blessed is he. That keepeth his garment. So that you do not walk naked. Jesus will come like a thief. The day that people are not aware. Many of you are asking, is this says, says, says? Many of you think the world is coming to an end tomorrow. Mm. Many of you think <coughs> Jesus Christ is coming tomorrow. Mm. Many of you, that is hot. What is, what is, what is deceiving you? It's, it's like he's coming tomorrow. Many of you have even stopped working. Let me read something to you. Let me explain something in the book of First Thessalonians. Chapter 5, verse 1, going. First Thessalonians 5. Very soon we will bring the message to an end. First Thessalonians chapter 5. Thessalonians 5, verse 1, going. It says, but of the times and the, and the season, but of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, so before Jesus Christ will appear, this world will be at peace. Yes, that is when the Antichrist will, will legalize everything. That is where the Antichrist will take over everything. They will legalize homosexuality. 
They will legalize polyandry. A woman can marry more than 100. A woman can marry more than 400. That is what the prophecy Isaiah spoke about it. In the book of Isaiah chapter 4, that seven women will grab one man. It is a prophetic word Isaiah spoke. This is when the all things will be normal to people. Nobody will be there to rebuke you. Nobody will be there to preach to you. By that time, all the preachers, no preacher will be on earth. That is when the prophecy of Amos, Amos chapter 8 verse 12 will start working. Many of you that don't follow the prophets. The ancient prophet follow the words from the mouth of the prophet. Not this, uh, uh, come for water, come for salt, come for uh, miracle, come for sticker. No, follow the prophet in the Bible. Yes, you say a famine, a famine of, of a famine that is not a famine of, of food or meat, but a famine of the word of God. That is when all these things, no preacher will preach the word of God. All the all the channels and all the platforms with the message of God will be terminated. That is when the Antichrist, when the Revelation chapter 13 will start working. When they try to give the seal of the mark of the beast and you reject. When you reject as a child of God, they will torture you, they will kill you. You go. After you go. Oh, the, the, this hell to be left with was sinless. Lesbians will have their part. They will take their weddings to the churches that you people are struggling to build. Mm? They will take over. They will go and do their adorings. Now, when you go to United Kingdom, there are so many churches. Great, great buildings. It was being built by their ancestors. When their ancestors died, after they died, they have turned all these places to crop. You think it is funny. Many of you think, oh, Christianity is, 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 is a myth. It's not a myth oh, because you don't study your Bible. That is why the day of the Lord will grab you as a thief. You will not be aware because you are ignorant. You don't read your Bible, so you don't know. It will come like a thief. It says, the day Jesus Christ will appear. You know, by the time that all these things happen, this world will be at peace. Mm -mm. You will not need passport to travel. Mm? You just go, you just show your... Eh, ka, 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 ka. As now you go to the mall, when you enter the mall, they say, ka, ka, yo, 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 yo. you do your hand. Ka, 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 ka. They scam you. The machines scam you. Now when you own any shop, you have to have something that we call uh, 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 scanning. You have to scan. Yes, it is gradually, 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 gradually. So who, he that have ears and that have eyes will watch and know where we are heading towards to and prepare yourself. The COVID being the success is not the problem. By you being a chosen one by Yahweh is the problem. If you are not chosen, forget you can reject the vaccination. You can reject everything. If this COVID surely, I mean, God have not revealed to me. I have prayed ever since COVID started. I have prayed. God have not spoken. And when God have not spoken, I will never lie. Because the very moment I begin to lie, I belong to the devil. Don't tempt him. He came to steal, to kill, and to destroy I will never lie. When God has not revealed, I will never lie. I don't come lie for views. No. He said, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that they, that, that they should overtake you as a thief. You are not in darkness. What should you do as a child of God? Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Don't compromise your faith. Mm -mm -mm. Don't compromise your faith for anything. If you are looking for a job and they are telling you, unless I sleep with you, forget that job. If you are looking for a job and they tell you, unless you sleep with my pet, forget that job. If you are looking for a job and they tell you this job, you have to rob. You have to write fake receipts. Forget that job. You hear me? If you are looking for a job and you get a job and that job, it involves prostitution, please forget that job. Let me use this opportunity to speak to many of you that have been bringing your, your sisters from Africa to Europe to, to do prostitution. God will request their blood from your hands. God 
God will request their blood from your hands. There are many opportunities in Europe that your sister can do to get money rather than sleeping around with pets, sleeping around with donkeys, lions, sleeping around with dogs to get money. Please, don't let somebody use you as an instrument for experiment. You are not that. You are fearfully and wonderfully made as a woman. Don't let money buy you. Don't be deceived. You are a chosen one. A holy one. Do not be deceived. You are not in darkness. You are in light. He said, therefore, let us not sleep. Do as do others. But let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that drunken are drunken in the night. Do not sleep. Do not be ignorant. Stop swimming in sins. This is not the time to swim in sin. This is not the time to do evil. This is not the time to snatch people's husband. This is not the time to take a gun, enter into people's home to rob. This is not that time. This is not the time. God has started choosing his. God has started identifying. He has started giving a mark to all those that belong to him. Please, do you belong to God? Are you a member? The reason why many of these antichrist representatives are busy winning you people that when we speak to you, you people are rather fighting us. Somebody will join, he will never even share the message to win a soul. Somebody will just listen and go because he wants you to open your mouth and speak about his papa for her to write long comments. That day, everything you are writing here, it is being recorded. Everything you are writing, it is being recorded. Support it. Support evil. Support these greedy people. Support these charlatans. Hide behind the scene. Work for them. That day, you regret. Work for them. That day, you are going to regret. Isaiah 50 says, you cross very soon. Let me speak to you about these people. Greedy, selfish beast. Greedy people. Isaiah chapter 50, 56, Isaiah 56, Isaiah 56, Isaiah 56, Isaiah 56, those that have been writing the Bible verse, God bless you. Those that have shared, God bless you. God bless you. Isaiah 56, verse number 10 to 12, Isaiah 56, 10 to 12, he say, his watchmen are blind. Which, which people are the watchmen? The men of God today. I'm not talking about the fake pastors who they are there. The men of God today, the genuine people, they are blind. They can't even discern to know the time and the season that we are in. He said his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. You see pastors, they can't preach. You see women of God, they can't preach. You see, women of God, they can preach. Preachers that God have chosen them because of the torturement and the insult. They can't have the confidence to speak. Because people will insult you. People even threaten you. I have a lot of voice messages. One day I will come and pray to you. Threaten messages. Threaten messages. People threaten my life because I'm speaking the truth. People threaten self acclaimed men of God, trapped in my life. I have their audios here. One day, I will sit here, I will pray to you. Dumb dogs. This threat have made many people, many pastors dumb. They come back. They cannot even preach. They can't speak. They can't tell the truth. The genuine churches, they are gradually, gradually backsliding. Gradually, gradually backsliding because of money. Because of money, gradually, gradually, they are backsliding. They can't stand the hardship. It is difficult, though. Sometimes I eat indomie, one indomie to sleep. Sometimes I eat one indomie, but I say, God, I will never fornicate to eat. You think it is well? You think it is easy to accept Jesus? I was outside and they called me and said, people have just, readers have entered your room. They've taken everything. They took and took my pants, including my daughter's panties. They took everything. I was left empty. I have to take my twins to go and stay in village. You think to serve God, it is, it is easy? You think it is all that easy? 
to deny the world, to stand for Christ. Uh -uh. Serving God is not easy. Oh. The word of God says many are the afflictions of the righteous. The afflictions of the righteous. But God will deliver you all. It got to a time I was left with two clothing. Only two. Two. I wash one. I go for evangelism. I go and speak with my Roman. I don't have money to buy any instrument. I don't have any church. I, I, I don't have any church. Oh. I don't have any church. I'm a preacher. I go in villages. Typical villages. Where they don't. If some, some of the villages I sit on at the back of a motorbike. To go to those villages to preach to them. Damn dogs, when they get the calling, they want to sit in office with their belly fronted, not ready to preach. And the, and, the, and the sheep are backsliding. They are hungry for the word of God. Their souls are hungry for the word of God. No message of truth. No message of truth. He said, For his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all damn dogs. They cannot back. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. That is the only thing. Somebody, a preacher, will go and stand on the road. Preachers in Africa, listen to me. You preach just two minutes, two hours. Two hours. Come and support the ministry. You preach that for more than five hours. You preach the message for two hours and you preach just all oh, support the ministry, support the ministry, support you know people that support me. Do you know how I managed to get money to buy credit? I am a single mother of three, two girls, twins, and a boy. I never planned that a time will come that I will beg to eat. Let me speak to somebody and I bring my message to an end. Many of you that don't know how to endure hardship and difficulties. I was a married woman legally, peacefully, enjoying my marriage with my husband. We took a decision that, oh, there is job in golf. Let me just go. Somebody got a connection for me to come and sit with the baby. You know, I, I yes. So my husband said, this is a good job. Go. And I went. When I went, I also made a plan. Oh, there is job in South, uh, in South Africa. Go. My husband also went. And we did every arrangement that we will, we will join in Europe and go back home and take our children. When my husband went, went for one year, got money, he married another woman. I swear, I will never lie. All those that know me know my story. I cried on the media, 2018. I nearly go mad because I have labored in vain. As I'm speaking to you, I am a mother caring for my own children. I am a mother struggling to care for these three children. My husband don't even don't even remember them. The worst thing is on their birthday, their father will never call them. Is it a crime? No, because of the message, because of the cross I have taken upon myself, because I have decided to follow Jesus. All these things have to follow me. All these things have to come to me. All the things you know, the, when our 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 rent, our 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 apartment, the the, the rent was due, the landlord just called me, come and take your things, or you come and pay. I didn't have money. Those that that time my twins when this is sick this one is you know twins they don't like such situations that unfavorable situation that their mother will cry 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 they don't like it one is here one is here one is sick the next week one is sick it wasn't a small journey it wasn't a small journey for me it wasn't a small journey but I stood firm and said, God, you have called me. This is my cup. I must drink. This is the cup that is being placed on me. Lord, strengthen me to drink it in faith. Not to backslide. My husband was seriously enjoying his work with a new woman. What I have labored for. What I have toyed for. Another, another lady is enjoying. But I didn't lose faith. I continued and I endured. I just packed my things to uncompleted house. One day I was there, they called me and said, you know, a couple has just entered, they just came and live in that house. When they saw your things there, because you were not all that poor. We have all these things in our home. I didn't have a place to pack. So I have to go and put it in that room that we are building. It is not complete. I put it there. When the couples came and live in one of the room and they saw it, they just brought they brought a car, packed everything, including my panties and my children's panties. Everything they 
took it. I was here shedding tears. And I, I remembered when my mom went through similar problems, she said, ah, this is not up to what Job experienced. We need to stand. And I keep remembering this word. My mom is a woman of faith. She is also a, a, a caretaker in Church of Methodists. We have been through a lot. So many of you that think we are doing what we are doing because of him, we have paid the price. We have paid the price. We have been through a lot. We have been humiliated. We have been rejected. We have been rejected. That is how being a woman of faith or being a man of faith, you go through all this. Mark 13, 13. Jesus Christ said, for my name's sake, people will hate you. People will hate you. It got to a time I didn't know. I didn't get, I didn't even know where to keep my children. So I have to take my children from the city, go and place them in the village, come back to Saudi Arabia to find bread and butter. You think life is easy? Many of you want to just wake up one day, ride in a, uh, in, in a Ferrari, ride in a, in, in a railway. So how do you call I don't know how to mention it. It is not easy, yo. To be a righteous person before God, you go through a lot. The world will reject you. Before somebody will give you offer, that person will brand, try to have sex with you before he will give you. But do not allow these things, the storm, this petty, petty storm, don't let it bring you down. The apostle said, Romans chapter 8, what shall separate us from the love of Christ? What is going to separate you? Many of you, when you get to this situation, the devil pave way for you to fornicate. The devil opened the door of fornication. Men will be jumping from you one to the other. Men will be jumping from you one to the other. Please stand firm. There are many options. There are many options. You can go anywhere. When I was coming to Saudi Arabia, I said, God, it is not my will to come. But for me to sit in Ghana, to sleep around before I get money, to feed my three children, I will never do that. I will go to Saudi Arabia. I have the strength. I am. I will go and work, and I will get money to care for my three children until they grow, until they get a helper, until they get people to support them. Because I can't. I have to stand and pay this price for these innocent children. They were dead. They didn't plan to come to this earth. I brought them. I brought them, so I have to bear the, the cost. I have to do something to save them, to make them smile. To make them smile. This is the price many of you have to pay. Many women, when it comes to this situation, when your husband says, I am not going to allow you, you want, you want the children to bear their pains. No, stand for them. They are innocent. They shouldn't bear burden of you. The word of God says, we shall no longer say this proverb in the land of Israel. The fathers have eaten sour grapes and children's teeth are set on the edge. No. They are innocent. We need to pay this price. That is why you see me. Many of you come and make mockery of me. Oh, you are golf. It is better I work as a maid to eat than to sacrifice my soul for the devil. It is better I work to feed my home, to, to even finance the ministry. How I manage to get money to buy credit, to come on live, to pray for people, to preach the message. You think we are not paying a price? And you think God will allow all this suffering to be in vain? Yes. The reason why when you touch us, God punish you. Well, well. When you try to touch us, how God will punish you? As these people that I'm living with, I am in a contract house in Saudi Arabia. When you try to silence me, there you know I am in the second floor, you know our house first floor, second floor, I am on the second floor, by the time you enter my room to come and fight me, and you are trying to enter, go down by the stairs nobody, you, you don't know how to hold, hold you, how to lift you you roll from the stairs and go down when you wake up and you go, you never come here again, that is the punishment God has been giving to people that is the punishment because God is with me God is with me. I have taken him as my everything. Take God. He will provide you. He is going to provide. I was hopeless. The year 2019, I was hopeless. I didn't know how to smile. When I wake up and my twins are on me, I don't know where to go. I can't leave them and they'll be crying. And I say, God, what have I done? This is not hot. This is not what 
I want. This is not what I want. This is not what I want. And many people use what I went through. Many pastors, they use it as a message to preach. A woman, when you divorce your husband, you are not supposed to marry again. I say, may God let you go through this pain so that you know how painful it is. That was the only prayers I was praying. And the year 2021, many of the pastors that were preaching, they are going through similar situations that I went through. They are going through the same, similar. Yes. Similar. Don't use somebody's situation to make mockery of him. God will punish you. God will let you go through that thing when you cry. And he will torture you well. Give your life to Jesus. Let he be your hope. Have we know when you have Christ, you have hope. When you have Christ, you have hope. Christ in you, the hope of glory. The hope of glory. The, you know, when you, you read uh, Philippians 4.13, he said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am able to do what I am doing through Jesus Christ. That is strengthening me. I am supposed to be the person that will be crying, 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 crying because I have labored in vain. To swear to take your man to university as a woman is not a joke in Africa. It's not a joke in Ghana. To labor to care for your man. Not even leaving him in Africa, taking him to other country to make it in life and dump you. You think it's, it's a joke? You think it's something that you can let it go? But I said to myself, I still have Jesus Christ. Let everything go. Let me lose the whole world and let me have him as my savior. Let me lose the whole world and let me uh, have him as my savior. This is not who I used to be. This is not who I used to be. Anybody that knows me know who I was. Anybody that knows me know who I was. I came. God just called me and said, go. Go and speak to people. And glory be to God, many of the women that God have been connecting them to my ministry, they have similar problems. And I have been able to strengthen them. And as I'm speaking to you, many of them are still, they are the ones sponsoring for their children. And I give God a praise for the grace to even to be able to encourage them. Because people come with tears. People come so depressed. People come ready to even commit suicide. So depressed. I say, God, strengthen them. Strengthen them. No, God sometimes raise strong women to stand and also bring up strong women. Give your life to Jesus. I want to bring this message to an end. Please, give your life to Jesus. Many of you, many of you, you have the heart of supporting ministries. Let me speak to you. Many of you, you have a giving heart. Go to the street. Go to places, people that have been delivering good messages. Sponsor them. Many of you that are kingdom finances, because that is your calling. Many of you, your calling is to finance ministries. Go to places, people that have been speaking the red roots. Many of them, they even lack microphones to speak the word of God to the people there. And you go and pay your tithes, give your offerings to these greedy dogs. You give to greedy dogs with the title purpose. And they are using this money to buy economic class, to take women abroad, to go just go and have sexual intercourse with them and bring them home. You think you receive blessing? You will never receive blessing. You are calling, you are not doing, you, you are doing it, you think you are doing it, but it is not on the right place. It is not on a, on a right place. These people are greedy dogs. Let's read our last Bible verse and we go where we are reading. Isaiah 56, verse number 11. It says, yeah, they are greedy dogs. They are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look for their own way. Everyone for his gain. Everyone is looking for his gain. Please, do the work of evangelism. If you are a kingdom financer, find a better kingdom to finance it. If you have, you have, you have been supporting ministries, dig to the root. What is the deeds of that pastor? They will take your small, small offering. They will take the money that people are dying out there. This, this morning, a lady just sent me a message. Because you have been doing donations to many of the villages. No, I'm from a village. So I just, I just go to to deep deep villages to do donation many of people that are in our platform you know we have been doing it 
So we are planning to go for a village to do that donation on coming July. We are going there. Today, a lady, a widow just sent me a message. She said, I need your help. I said, how am I going to help? She said, my, my daughter is on a dying bed. They need money for surgery. On a dying bed in the emergency ward. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. My daughter is dying. I need to raise money for a surgery. I said, okay. I have to just speak to people. People that have that giving heart, you can just reach her. People that have given heart. She's a widow. Her daughter is in the emergency. They need money for surgery. If you have that giving heart, go to these places. When you go to villages that you know, when Jesus Christ said, when my, whole, my spirit comes in you, you go to Judea. You go to Samaria. He didn't say you go to the street. You go to deep, deep places. Places that they need your help. Not people that are already content. And you'll be feeding up. You'll be giving your money. They gather your money. They give to their wife. Hmm? To go and do light possession. And light their booty. And light their breasts as a woman of God. As a lady that is married to a pastor. That is what they are using your offerings. And your tightest monies to do. To do, that is how they are using your tightest money. Why people there you are supposed to help? They are there. They are there. They are there. People are there. They need your help. They need your help. Villages. Go to the villages. Go to people. People are in need. They are in need. They need you. Stop giving your money to these charlatans. Oh, in the name of prophecy. There are so many things. When I became born again, I was able to discover that there are so many things you can never receive through prayers unless you receive through giving. There are so many things through giving, giving, making somebody smile out there alone can make a way for you. It can open doors for you. It can open doors for you. I can't remember. Let me share one testimony. One of my twins was sick. Those days, my money was only 100 on me. I wake up in the morning and the Lord told me, use this money, give as a gift. So I just go outside and I saw somebody, I gave the money as a gift. Let me tell you what happened. My mom took this, my child, to the hospital. A stranger from nowhere, my mom said, this man said, you were, you were in the same, uh, how, uh, how do you say, SU. When we were in senior high school, you were in the same SU. And he paid the bills. I said, wow, I was left with only 100. When my mom called me in the morning that your daughter is severely sick, I have to take her back. And I am afraid because any time they fall sick, they go, the doctor will say, there is no blood. I didn't know what was sucking the blood of my children. I didn't know until I rose up and I said, enough is enough. The reason why when you people see me praying, I pray like a mad woman. I pray like a mad woman because I don't favor the devil. I know what they can do. I know what they can do. God willing, tomorrow we are praying. You can join prayers. If you want to join the prayer, you can join it. You can join it. You pray on Zoom. Precious Appear Gifting Ministry. Zoom and YouTube. Zoom and YouTube. Zoom and YouTube. If you want to join prayer, come and pray. Pray. Go to prayer camps. Pray. Where they pray. Pray on your own. Join prayers. There are online many, many prayer altars online. Join them and pray. And stop collecting items, items, items. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. God is there. Open your mouth and pray. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, if you're here and you don't you don't have any connection or relationship with Jesus and you want to surrender. Oh, 10 45 p.m. 10.45 p.m. GMT. That is the time we meet. We meet on, on YouTube. My YouTube channel is Precious Appear Gifty. Precious Appear Gifty Ministry. Precious Appear Gifty Ministry. If you want to read that woman, if you want to read that woman, take this number. Whatever you give, you give to her. <coughs> Plus 233-544-94-7273. Plus 233-544-94-7273. Nine four seven two seven three. That is the number. It is a cash app. Any amount you put on it, it is my own cash app. I will get it and I will, I will give to the foundation team. They will just reach her. I think she needs. When I was preaching, I saw her message again. She's still at the back. She's waiting for me to finish to come. Yes, to come, to come and ask me if you have a heart of giving. Please read that poor woman for me. I wish I have. I wish I have, but I am not. I am not. Yes. My name, let me, let me put my name. 
Let me put my name before I go and I'll put the number. And those of you that call my number to threaten me, I've been recording everything. Let me just tell you. Press 233 544 Yes, that is the number. That is the number. Precious Appear Gifting Ministry. <coughs> yes. This is my number. This is my name. That is my name. When you go to YouTube, Precious Appear Gifting Ministry. That is why we have been praying. And we also have the Zoom. If you send me a message, I'll, uh, no, um, uh, how do you say it? Word remit, uh, tap, tap, send. Okay, you call me WhatsApp. You say, I called your WhatsApp today. I will, I will check it. Today I was a little bit busy. I'm not going to take WhatsApp calls. Oh, uh, tap, tap, send, word remit, uh, Western Union, MoneyGram, um, send wave. Yes, these are the means. These are the means. I don't have paper. I don't have paper. But you can chat me. Chat me. If you want to support that woman, please chat me on this number on WhatsApp. My time is up. You know, I'm going to work. You know, these people, my people, if I don't go and work, they will, they, will be, they, will, they will be angry with me. So I'm going to work. I'm going to work. I'll come back and pick your WhatsApp calls. Just chat me on the number on the WhatsApp if you want to help help them. Give your life to Jesus. If you want to surrender to Jesus, say this after me as I go. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, I accept the fact that you died for me on the cross of Calvary. I accept you as my Lord and Savior today. Lord, from today, write my name in the book of life. Delete my name from the book of destruction. Father, fill me with your spirit. From today, let me live by your word. Help me to live a righteous life. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray for you. You are born again. May the spirit of God fill you. Amen. Shalom.